All right, we're tracking the threat for severe weather later this afternoon. This was the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center out of Oklahoma at 8 a.m. So this is the latest one, just a couple of minutes old and really have not seen any changes for our area and current thinking still remains about the same. Notice highest risk that level four out of five is on the North Shore and going up into central Mississippi here south of the lake level three and then a level two the closer you get to the coast. So starting with the North Shore and breaking this down zone by zone, parish by parish, St. Tammany, Washington, Tangipoa, even over towards Livingston Parish. You can see there you really do need to start watching the weather as early as the early afternoon. So going out to eat lunch, already checking in on the phone and checking in to see if there's any updates and any storms popping up. And from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. is going to be that window of opportunity for those severe thunderstorms. A few storms could produce strong tornadoes. That is definitely a possibility, especially the further north you go in Washington Parish and the close you get to Hattiesburg. I think that's where we're going to see a little bit higher chances of those stronger tornadoes. Uh, but still watching it across all the North Shore. Rainfall total wise widespread one to three inches, but overall the isolated. There are some isolated totals that could be three to five, and that means we're gonna have to watch for a little street flooding up there on the North Shore. Down here in the metro area, as soon as 5 p.m. we could see some storms rolling in, uh, but closer to sunset more than likely. So six, seven, eight o'clock is I think our main time frame for those rough storms. Few tornadoes possible, high winds possible, a little hail possible, and then rain totals look manageable right now, about one to two inches. But if that falls in less than an hour, you get a little street flooding, so we'll watch it up along the river. Time for storms will be a little bit earlier. Ascension and St. Uh, James Parish could be as early as 2 to 3 p.m. And then as you go into St. John Parish, maybe closer to 5 to 6 and then 6 to 7, the closer you get to St. Charles. So in general, through the afternoon and uh, late afternoon, early evening will be our river parishes. Few tornadoes certainly possible with that squall line, some high winds and rain totals also one to two to maybe one to three. Bayou parishes will go with about four to seven p.m. one to two inches with maybe up to three inches in a few spots. Of course, that threat level drops off the further you get closer to the Gulf. The cooler waters of the Gulf usually help us there, but there is still a chance you get some spinning storms. St. Bernard and Plaquemines, this is going to be lower Plaquemines in eastern St. Bernard, seven to ten p.m. So a little bit later on this evening, the threat is still there for a few isolated tornadoes. Mississippi coast especially in Stone and Pearl River counties. That's where we're really going to have to keep an eye in the early afternoon for any individual cells that pop up. They will pose a tornado risk, and a few of those tornadoes could be on the strong side. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Further south you go, you'll probably miss out on the early afternoon storms, but late evening, uh, late afternoon and really early evening after around 7 to 8 to 9 o'clock tonight, that's when I think the worst storms will be moving near the coastal areas and it will bring a chance for maybe a few isolated tornadoes and some damaging wind gusts. So overall, really afternoon, keep an eye on the weather, check in frequently, get our app, check radar, and if you start to see storms pop up, just know it will probably not take much for them to be on the severe side. Late tonight, we dry out and then the rest of the weekend through the weekend, we got 70s and sunshine.